TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is Friday, October the 28th. This is the 10 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. Remember, we start at 9 with Tommy O'Brien, market kickoff, fabulous show. We're looking at the Dow, talk about fabulous. Up 400 points at 32,425. Made a new recovery high. My big, uh, uh, this chart that I'm showing on the left is the daily chart of the Dow. Chapman wave, left side, right side, price, time match. I made the midpoint, the arch formation right there. And I said by the 28th, this is that Chapman wave inside wedge that there should be a test somewhere in the 32,000s going towards the 504 level. Today, the high so far is 32,486. This is amazing. It's still just a leg C. There should be in the Chapman wave a leg D still to come. Then you've got to get become cautious. I'll talk about this Chapman wave inside track repellent zone uh, in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up in a few moments. Look at the S&P. The S&P... After all the news, negative news is up 31. It hasn't uh, uh, pushed above yesterday's high, but it's still very good action at 38.39. The QQQ after Amazon just got clobbered. Um, is actually up $2.60 at 275.43. In this particular arch formation, the nine period moving average is positive still, even with all the bad news after all the other um, high tech stocks got hammered. And now we're looking at pretty decent action. The technicals really, except for the on balance volume, are not too bad. We're looking at the IWM, the IWM Russell 2000. Um, so for an inside day, not bad, up $1.60 at 180. Gold. Friday gold gets knocked down. It's down 14 at 1651. Looking at the dollar, it's up some. <clears throat> Coming back a little bit from the day's high of 111.04. It's at 110.74, up 16 ticks. Still showing some strength. I'll talk about this uh, rising wedge formation when I get back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes' time. Look at crude oil. Crude oil actually had a huge move up, and now it's held in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone let's see if it's going to be the propellant zone by going to 93 next week or higher we'll see what happens and bonds uh bonds are holding quite nicely they're down just nine ticks at 97.37 they've had a very big move from the low uh, made in the 92 area to 97 that's pretty good in the v-shaped pattern i'll be back for the tiger technicians hour hope you can say check out my opening call my daily newsletter be back in a moment